Okay, so moving on to question number four. How could you separate lauric acid from alpha naphthol? So, if you were to look up their properties on like uh, Google or something, or I like look at their um, MSDS, then you'll see that lauric acid has a low uh, melting point. at around like 45 degrees Celsius. And this alpha naphthol its melting point is like very high. It's around 121 degrees Celsius. So therefore we can use cycles of like heating and cooling to try and separate the two solutions. Let's look at the answer from our junior tutor. The melting point for lauric acid is about 45 degrees. Uh, while it is 121 for naphthol, yep, that's what I got. Uh, so in a mixture, repeated cycles of slow warming and cooling should separate the two. You can improve the efficiency by adding a dash of slightly acidic 70% isopropanol. This will deprotonate the lauric acid while maintaining the proton on naphthol, during this process to enhance separation and purification of the two compounds. It also flat out distill the two products by maintaining the temperature of the solution at the boiling point of lauric acid to separate it from naphthol. That was a long sentence. Uh, this might be also be a good polishing method. So that's cool. So this solution is correct. Thank you.